Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, we are still in the Detroit system. I haven't done any missions since the last time, uh, so I didn't do those low one skull missions. So if we go to the command center here, um, they're still all here. I might pull them off, I don't know yet, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I do want to do uh, one of these today. I haven't had a chance to look at them yet, but it would be one of the one of the half skull missions here. Uh, but let's have a quick look uh, at the mech bay here. Now, there's a couple of minor modifications I did. So if we go to the archer real quick, um, I did a couple, well, one minor real mod modification to this guy. Uh, we had a double uh, load of LRM ammo. I bought another one in the store, so I swapped out the four tons that we had with a couple of double loads. So it gives us a little bit more ammo. It's pretty much all I did with the archer. Um, and that stayed like, like that. And then the dervish... Uh, what did I do with the, oh yeah, the dervish. So I had to do some major refitting, well not major refitting, but slight jigging of the, the stuff that we had. Um, I picked up an AMS flare in the store and I thought I would throw it on this guy. This guy seems to get hit by missiles a fair bit. So we went ahead and did that. I took the SRM sixes off of this um, and threw the MML five risks in here only because this mech has been, we've been having issues with um, the missile to hit chances so close far away you know are we going to get close are we going to stay back what are we going to do trying to find the right balance of to hit chances with this loadout we can fire everything at long range mmls using the lrm missiles and then if we get close i put in a ton of, a ton of dead fire ammo that we picked up so now we can use the lrms in close so this should hopefully balance out that long range short range um, issue we've been having um, also, we got a ton of LRM chaff ammo in here as well, hopefully to hit up some targets to reduce their um, sight damage and things like that. So, you know, yes, it's reduced damage. We've only got 60 shots, so we'll only be using it on a few mechs. Uh, but if we've got a mech that's doing particularly well against us, we'll just target it with this and, and hit them. So that's this loadout. We kept the uh, SRM Inferno ammo as well. So when we're, in cl when we're in close, we can use Inferno with these guys if we have to against vehicles and stuff. And we'll save the LRM dead fire for these two guys up here. Um, okay, so uh, that's that one. The Gladiator stayed the same. We didn't do any changes on it. The Fire Bee, this is the one we changed. We, we took the SRM 6s from the Dervish and dropped them in here. Replaced the two 4s and the two 2s. Everything else remained the same. So now we've got the SRM 6s. Now these things do have two recoil. Um, and they don't have any like minuses to hit, but they, with the two recoil. So I took the fire control system recoil that I had. I can't remember if we picked that up last episode or if it was a, one of the half skull missions I did between episodes. I can't really remember where we got it from, but we have a minus two recoil with ranged weapons here. So this will hopefully mitigate the recoil on these guys. Um, so we'll have better chances to hit. And since we're moving the SRM twos into a, like basically onto the arm now, it's just still the same number of missiles. We'll have a bit, a bit better chance to hit with both of these. So. That was my thought behind that. Uh, so that was that one. And then the last thing we did was I get the I got the Shadow Hawk up and running. Now I'm not happy with it. It is what it is. Now normally this thing apparently had a uh, double heatsink kit with compact heatsinks, um, but we don't have that. We did not have the ability to add anything that was going to generate a lot of heat on this guy. So I took all of my SRM twos, um, which makes this which turns this into an SRM 16 boat. Uh, and I put two on each hard point uh, with Inferno ammo. So the idea is to get in close with this thing, blast with Inferno. And since we have the nimble quirk here, which allows us to fire uh, or basically move and then fire and then fire and then move, we're going to jump in with this thing, fire off all the SRMs. Then the next turn we'll fire again and jump out and hide. So that's the goal with this guy. Um, hoping it works out. We've got two tons of SRM Inferno ammo. So let's hope that works out. Now my, my, my thought is is that because uh, heat has been slowing, basically slows mechs down, we're going to use this guy against their, their faster mechs if we can, or the guys that are most dangerous, to either slow them down or keep them out of the battle as long as possible. So this guy will jump in and then jump out. Now, uh, the movement on this is pretty incredible. Um, it's got an 18 hex jump. I have no idea how much heat that's going to generate, but our heat sinking right now is actually pretty good. It's 24 alpha strike, 30 heat. So we'll jump in and fire. Most likely we'll overheat or get hot, and then we'll just jump out and like or fire and jump out, and then we'll cool off. 
but that's the goal for this guy. Now we're going to get this one running today. I want to try and I want to try it out. I'm not sure who I'm going to give it to yet, but we're going to try this one out. Maybe we'll give it to uh, Queen B. So she'll, she'll hold off on the Fire B today and run this sucker. So let's have a look then at the command center. See what we got going on today. So we got show the flag, which is a battle in the polar region. Uh, so that's, that's against the pirates, so we don't really want to do that. Hold the line, defend the base, hostile coalition forces. Um, so that's against the Oregon coalition? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we go ahead and do that. That's a defend base, right? Yeah, and then what's the last one? Show a force. So we're going to lose... Yeah, we can't take this one because it's against pirates. Birds of Prey is a defend base. B12 factory, who's it? Oregon Coalition. So we could take this one too. Actually, let's take this. It's two skull, but we, we should have defenders, like enough defenders. What's ripe for the picking? Plus 30 with the pirates, having a great day. Uh, that's a capture base. That'll only work if we get, you know what? Let's go with this one first. Uh, where is it? Hold the line. Let's go with this one first. We're going to defend this base at one and a half. And then if we do really well, if the, like if things are working out, then we can try this too. We got it. We got hammered pretty good last time, although we did pick up an, uh, that uh, the land mech. So let's go ahead with this. Let's negotiate. Full salvage, obviously, because that's really good salvage. Going to accept this. And let's pull the fire bee out and drop the Burkut. Shadowhawk in there. Um, now, do I want to pull out the Gladiator? How are we doing here? Earthquake needs some more XP. So let's pull the Gladiator. I know this is going to be a weird move, but let's pull the Gladiator out. We'll drop the Urban Mech in. And I think we go this route. Yeah, let's go. Okay, here we go. Got contact right off the start. Hostiles from multiple directions. That looks like an urban mech. Not that it matters, but... Oh yeah, so... I was, um... Okay, we're defending this base up here. This is an important... Yeah, we know what's going on. Alright. Uh, before I start here, I just want to take a quick look. This is the typical... Which one is this? I don't remember this base mission. What do we got here? We got a stinger, a wasp, chameleon, and an urban mech R26. Okay, so before we start, I was um, taking a look at some of the possibilities for starting because I, 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 like, like I said, I was, I'm still going to be doing the next, um, my next series, um, and I got a specific idea of what I want to do for starts. So, um, what I was doing, wow, we're way down here, huh? What I was doing is kind of going through the different. Uh, Startups. Let's go this way. Oh, I remember this map now. Okay, it's been a long time since I played on this map. Right, the reinforcements have come from down here. Um, so, yeah, I was going through the different factions and just taking a look at what the starting mechs are. Because I want to start off with this. I got a certain thing in mind of how I want to start. And I noticed, which I didn't notice when I, when I chose primitive on this, one of the possibilities for startup is Irby. And I'm like, what the hell is Irby? Like, is that a planet or what is that? And sure enough, it was starting off with five urban mechs. And I was like, wow, this is fantastic. If you love urbies, you just start off with five urbies. Now, you start off in the Capellan Confederation, which is fine. But, I mean, you'd, you'd start the game with five urban mechs, which is pretty cool. Now, two of them two of them were actually really good. Like, they were risk builds, so they were really good mechs to start with. I thought that was a little strange, but that's fine. Um, okay, let's get up here. Now we're going to switch. Okay, but those are risks are on LRM already. We've got a wasp. That's the chameleon. Probably going to be hard to hit this guy. Now, see, some of these mechs start with these things already redded out. Now, I don't know if that's because of the skull level. In order to balance it, it just crosses off certain weapons to start. I don't know why that does that. Like, this guy's missing the heavy rocket launcher. This guy's. That could be a jam. 
Like, I don't know. I don't know why that would be that way. Anyway, let's find out what the best target is. 12-10. 12-10. It's all the same, so let's drop it on the chameleon. And firing. Soften him up a bit. Yeah, so the Irby start, like I said, it was kind of cool. We had uh, two Urban Mechs that were like kind of risk Urban Mechs with, with light Gauss rifles. We would have had one with the MRM-30. Uh, we had one with an Ultra-20. Uh, no, sorry, we had one with the light Gauss, one with the Ultra-20, one with the MRM-30. No, that's... That's right, yeah, two with the two with the light Goss, one with the M MRM-30, one with the Ultra-20, and one with the Precision AC-20. No, no, that's right. Oh, wait, and then we want, sorry, there was, I think the fifth one was an LBX-10 or something on it. I can't remember now. Anyway, there was five of them. But it was pretty cool, anyway. All right, let's see how far we can jump here. Look at this. Look at this shiz. Let's get right into battle. Because we can. Where's the chameleon? That's the stinger. That's the chameleon. Let's get up. Oh, that's not up. That's up right here. Uh, but we want to get in. We can't get close enough to get a maximum shot on these guys. That's 28% though. Let's get into... Well, let's get in the woods. Although, we're sitting in the way of other guys, so let's not do that and get shot in the back. Uh, oh yeah, this, the, the other thing too is we picked up a uh, warfare suite on one of the half skull missions. So I dropped it into this into the lamb. So now it's got a warfare suite on it. So we've got really good sensors and everything with this thing. All right, I just want to see. So that's not bad heating up wise. Let's just fire on this guy. Really lousy to hits, but. Not bad. Anyway, I'm blabbering away here. How can I help? You can help by shooting somebody. Shooting somebody real good. Alright, that's the side shot. Actually, if we don't move... Oh, we can't hit that guy. What's the chance on this guy? So, as you can see here, they've changed this. So now that we've got, we've got the ability to say what fires first. So if you have ammunition that does more damage on the outside than it does on the inside, like acid or whatever, you want to fire those off first, you can just shift it up, fire them first, and then move the other ones down. Brilliant. Sheer brilliance. Uh, we don't want to do that. We want to go here. Roger that. Get a side shot. Wow, 7%? Really? 20 on the Irby. 13 on the Stinger. Wait, what was the laser chance on the Stinger? 43? Let's take the two laser shots on the Stinger. We'll hold off on... Well, yeah, we just might as well. I don't want to overheat. I want to have some mobility. Coolant truck. So the more I play Osmium, the more I love this this game. It's Rogue Tech. It's like so good now. It's always been really good. It's been my favorite mod. Now, I haven't played all that many mods, but to me, this is what I remember Battletech really as when we were playing with my friends. Having all the uh, firm. all the crazy um, weapon potentials and things like that. Insane battles. Ooh. You're melting. Okay, how far can we get up here? Let's move so we've got a uh, solid red line on this guy. 16%, not bad. Now let's see how you handle this. Failed to connect. That's alright. That's alright. So we got a tag barrage I haven't added to anything yet either. Either, 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 or. On the move. Full speed. Well, maybe not full speed, but on the move. Oh, come on, mouse. 
it just decides that it's not going to go left right anymore wait it will <sighs> just not how I want it. there we go must have been a piece of dust okay we got an MML jam already that's why I, one of the reasons why I'm not so worried about the ammo on this thing it's like yeah okay got 10 turns of firing it's actually more because we're gonna have jams and that's just fine but at least now we've been able to engage at range Standing by. all right Queenie uh, so let's just can't actually shoot anybody huh gonna do this just want to see here heat wise so heat didn't really go up brace we're back to normal beautiful beautiful all right here comes the turrets so I'm be interested to see if we get two enemy enemy uh, lances someone's coming for your melee attack you sure you want to do that buddy ow I considered putting the dead fire ammo into the uh, archer. It would pretty, it would be pretty devastating, but we'd only get three turns of firing before it would be out. Plus, I was like, you know, the archer is really slow, and it's normally at the back, so I'm like, you know, does it really need to be like? Do we really need it in this guy? And I was like, ah. Eh. We're probably better off not having it on this archer because the dervish gets in close a lot more wow really oh i'm looking at the wrong thing that's why uh let's go back to regular ammo flick some damage on this guy it's like the battle of the will knots man Don't shoot me. Artillery. Art don't shoot artillery over here. Is that artillery or was that... Uh, Talk to me. It was probably... Uh, stay out of that guy's way. Just get up here. That looks like it puts it outside of the LRM um, close range bracket. So we should have a better chance to hit. Yeah, better chance. Damn you for making me. Nice little bit of pen. Punch right through his armor. A little bit of pen. Yeah, burn him. Thirty-one heat, eh? Yes, Commander. Um, looks like all of our uh, missiles are back. Can we get a, uh, oh, we can. Let's get into here where it's less chance of me shooting my own guy in the back. Let's go against you. See if we can get him to bail out. So LRM regular, and then we want to switch. Nope, we want to go to SRM with Inferno. We could go dead fire on this too. Let's, how much has he got? Oh, he's got 15 left in the center. Let's not waste the dead fire. Oh, he shut down too. Let's go after his leg. Still not bailing out, huh? Yes, Commander. All right, Quake. Chameleon's all yours, bud. I copy. Now, the chance of you killing him, I don't know. Pretty slim, unless you get a headshot, but. You gotta connect first. Well, we slowly, I mean, the skills in our pilots are slowly going up. They've almost got fours across the board. The main lance does anyway. Whoa. 
that was not good for him. Just don't shoot me in the back. Hope we can find the right balance here. Like a mission balance. Okay, at least he's going for the turrets. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's not get too close to him in case these guys decide to fire the turrets at him. That'll do for me right there. For jump. Not the best place because we are lower than him, but really great chances to hit all our SRMs. Why do we have... Oh, right, because one of we have an Omnipod arm on one, arm, one of the arms, which is why it gives these ones a better chance to hit. Alright. Alright. Alright, that's not bad. Just a little bit of heat. That's a lot of evasion. See ya. I think the Lamb Mechs are better than the last version of Rogue Tech. I think they've balanced out the jump and everything and having the components built in I think is a great idea. Basically stops you from building any mech into a Lamb Mech. It just like forces you to just use these. That guy's shut down. I think we'll pay him a visit next turn. Yeah, certainly glad to see how... Ah, stop hitting me! Taking minimal damage. Ow. Oh, it's the Irby. Certainly glad to see that these guys are far more aggressive. Wow. We got guys up on the hill, and I'm pretty sure there's guys going to be back here, unless they come in randomly. Could be. We'll see. Kunlun Feng. Wow. Wow. 174 heat. Wow. Wasp is still going though. It's fine to shut him down, but he's still going. What's up, boss? Heating up, buddy. That's a green line. Not bad. We'll just move over, take a shot on this guy. Take a shot, 42%. That's not bad. And two misses. Because of course. You know, one of those half skulls was a defend base, the last planet, and this guy was hitting shots of like 10% chance to hit, things like that. No problem. <laughs> he was hitting, I don't know, probably like I'd say half of the shots that he had low percentage he was hitting with the large lasers. This one, nothing. Nothing. Let's just go ahead and kill this guy. Standard ammo. I'll keep them from shooting in close, possibly hitting us. How can I help? See if we can remove this guy. He's taking a lot of side damage. Oh yeah, he's just pretty much toast here. He's shut Sorry, down too. Damn you for making me do this. That's one less hostile on the field. You got that right. Warrior. Now I bet you there's another lance still. We just haven't seen it yet. You know, it'd be kind of cool if they uh, had things like coolant trucks that just basically had like water hoses or liquid coolant that you could actually drive around and spray on your mechs that are hot to cool them off. 
That would be kind of interesting. And you could have like a super hot build with a cooling truck behind it. Commander? Just spraying it down with like whatever whatever the coolant is to keep it nice and cool so it can continue fighting. That's a side shot. We want the back here. Yeah, not the Roger best, that. but we'll take it. Staying out of the heat. We got vigilance, so we can do that. Keep our stability and shoot this guy. Oh, yeah. Beautiful chances to hit. Here it comes. Oh, heat alert. What? I don't know. We'll fire everything. Roger that. Beautiful. Make them nice and toasty. We should be able to finish this guy off before these guys get in. AC2 carrier, no big deal. Okay, what are you guys doing? Fire starter, okay. Waiting for orders. I would have thought we would have had a lot more uh, media mechs on this one, but kind of weird. How are we doing for heat? We're going to be overheating. We'll leave one off. Fire the other one. That hit. Trying to cool off. Good luck with that. Spider. There's got to be more than just those guys. No way to get a direct line of sight, huh? Well, let's just move up. Well, we just, wait, where's the turret here? Right there. Okay. I don't feel so bad moving up over here then. Hmm. Let's go here. Target the spider. He's a little closer. And switch to LRM. Oh, SRM is probably a better chance to hit. That's the same. Fire the SRM then does more damage. That yeah, one hit. Mech is on fire. Okay. Ooh, look at those chances to hit. Here it comes. Nicely done. Target's taken a critical hit. Sure as hell has. Affirmative. Pull back over here. Coolant truck. Yeah, man, shut him down. Plus 100 heat. Dude's got to be shut down now. Hetzer laser. I've got your back. Okay, what are our chances here? 15? 25 on the Hetzer. So I guess it's Hetzer we're going for. Here it comes. Soften him up a little bit. Man, that archer for being 70 tons is just a waste of <laughs> a waste of a mech. It's not like we can even like if even if I got clan LRM twenties, it wouldn't matter because I <laughs> I can only put two of them on there. I'd have to find like, you know, big laser weapons to put in the arms, because I've only got two two energy hard points. But I guess that wouldn't be too bad. Two clan LRM 20s and then maybe like a couple of uh, large improved heavy lasers. That might be okay. But even for 70 tons, it's still like iffy. It would be one of those mechs that would just have to stand there and fire at people at a distance. Which I mean, what a, that's what an archer is, right? It's designed for. Come on.
I'm wondering if I should move to the guy's side, the chameleon's side, and then try going for a headshot on him. He should be shut down. Well, that, that's the AC2 carrier? Probably Ultra 2s. I considered putting a, um, we have like a, uh, um, sort of like a rotor, no, it's not really a rotary AC5, but kind of is. It's like a, almost like, I guess, oh, there we go. They got a lot more guys over there. Like a pulse AC, AC5 where it's like, does 16 times 3 damage. And I can't get it in the, in the lamb because it, it requires you having a lower arm. And even though you, oh, see ya. Even though you add the lower arm with the Omnimac uh, pieces, it doesn't consider it a lower arm. Okay. Looks like this is going to be a long range fight for the last six rounds. It's not going to help you, buddy. Need more than a flamer. Although with the speed we kill things, this is probably going to be good enough. I right, just move up here. Pot shot. 6%, eh? We're just going to fire once, drop some heat. Engaging with target. Eh. No joy. Ah, we've had lots of joy so far, so I don't know why you're worried. Now that our builds are kind of getting semi-stable here. We know what we can rely on and what we can't. That's the headset. What's this guy? Pew. Well, that's the AC, there's the AC2 guy. Myrmidon. So they probably got like maybe six units back there in total. It's giving us four chevrons, but we only, we, I mean, can only see four, but we know there's an AC2 carrier. All right, Hopper. Continue with the Hetzer, maybe. Twenty-eight. Thirty on the fire starter. Fifteen a Myrmidon. Eleven. Um, he's got three medium lasers. What do you got? Tons of energy. It's probably all fire. Fire-based gear at 460 armor. Uh, let's just strip some more armor off this guy. Two percent's not such a big deal. Okay. This spider, I think, is going to get ground up by the. Uh, turrets and stuff as he approaches. So let's con let's continue shooting at the Hetzer. Um, switch this to in Inferno. We should do a little more damage with that. Now we don't... What's the uh, dead fire? 27. It's still only a couple percent of jobs. So let's go with that. Hit this guy as hard as we can. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I don't mind the risk build. It's nice because we don't have to we don't have to close to get to get use of those SRM sixes that we had before. Yes, Commander. Queen Beast lost the close, but that's fine. I mean, hell, with the uh, amount of um, evasion we're getting when we jump in, and now we've got a use for all our resolve that we normally don't use <laughs> when I'm playing. Uh, it's a little hot, so let's go with uh, turn. Two off. Three. Okay, well. That's fine. Copy that. Yeah, a little damage. I think we'll just walk it back. Drop some heat next turn so we don't have to worry about the uh, heat from the jumping. So we'll just fire at this guy and then back up. Now that's the Myrmidon. AC2 carrier was over here somewhere. Warrior. Okay, so they do have a total of six. 
that I can see that maybe there's more. Now what's this guy doing? It's definitely going to make, like the, the tags are going to definitely make it interesting a new on my um, as to how we want to use it, whether we target a mech with it and hope we hit or we target an area and hope the enemies move into it. I'm going to have to exp oh god why really? Systems holding. Going to have to experiment with that too to find out if um if they'll move out of this circle cuz it's a two turn delay, right? So if we target a mech and it's fast, they could just run up to us, in which case we're going to get hit too. All right, buddy. Uh, that's the warrior, eh? Eight percent. Um, let's get away from the fire if we can. No matter what we do, it's going to be flames, huh? Well, let's just take it this turn. We've got a bad chance to hit already, so let's just move here. I'm going to go ahead and brace. Drop. Well, we still got a bit of heat, but hopefully it's better next turn. What does the coolant truck have on it? Two vehicle flamers. All right. Now, we've got a bunch of flamers, too. So, you know, considering uh, possibly loading down something with flamers. That's the Myrmidon. I mean, I thought about putting it on the um, the Lamb mech. But I figured the SRM Infernos might be better for uh, going against vehicles. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Like I said, we're limited hard points. The Lamb Mech's got the most number of hard points, but the least... It's only got 10 tons for uh, weapons. And 30 heat sinking. I wanted to put that... Uh, the PPC plus capacitor, the light PPC, the double fire one on there, but it's 46 heat. I just have no way to sink all that. Just, just no way to sink it. I'm going to do this. Oh. Not let me move very far, is it? Guess we're overheating. Confirm. We'll take it. That's fine. We got a kill for it, so Hetzer's out of the way. That's the fire starter. Warrior. Venom. Okay. Order. I want to target that venom, I think. It's a chance to hit on this. Not bad. It's a relatively easy kill, so I'm just taking a look at it. Spider. Venom's really low. So let's go after this guy. Hopefully we get a kill on him. Penetration. Do we get it? Looks like it. Yep. Warrior gone. Beautiful. One last thing we got to worry about. Get my front too, buddy. Myrmidon. 22%. Not bad. Man, it it's been a long time since I said 22%. Oh, not bad. Engaging target. All my other series is like 22%. That's it. Let's 
still remember in infiltration starting off with or using the uh, the uh, fire control system predator and the uh, recon or sensor recon or whatever it is that gives us those massive bonuses to hit at extreme range so standing back at a long range and having like 96 percent chance to hit with all of our weapons that was insane okay we, if we're gonna get this guy we got to go all out on him I don't think we can get him we gotta be practical about this what can we pull down in like two turns here if the venom moves forward then sure if he doesn't move forward, then we got to decide. He's running. I don't know. There's a chance. I'll be a slim one. Standing by. That's the regular spider. Ah, uh, see. Okay, at least he stayed out of the fire this time. Point nine, eh? Doesn't matter what we're at here. Just fire one. <sighs> well, he's got ECM, so there you go. Pretty sure he does, anyway. But he's got AMS. How tough are these buildings? Large buildings, yeah. Even if they rush the base, they wouldn't be able to take them down. How can I help? Well, 15 on this guy. 20 in the Myrmidon, we're not going to take that out in two turns, there's no way. AC2 carrier, AC2 flak, eh? 15 on the spider. Alright, well, let's just put everything on this guy. Maybe we take, he's got a heavy PPC, man. See if we can take him down. Everybody will just shoot at this guy. Where are you off to? Yes, Commander. All right, on this guy. It's within dead fire, but better chance with these guys. So let's just switch this back to regular LRM and fire it all. Hopefully us shooting at that guy will spur on the uh, defenders here to shoot at the same guy. Wouldn't that be nice? Standing by. We're having a heat problem here. Keeping my heat low. Yeah, not much we can do about that. So that was a flat carrier. Ah, shoot the shoot the other guy. Shoot the other guy. All right, round nine. We got this turn plus next turn, I think, and that's it. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Commander. Stand still. It gives you the best chance to hit. Still point nine. Let's push him a bit. I copy. Get a little closer. Don't be shy. Fire them both. No luck. You're making me second guess bringing you on this one, guy. Although if we brought the gladiator, it is heavier, but it's only got one large, so we'd only be shooting one of the larges at that guy. 
At least it keeps that hex toasty. All right, you know what to do. Why is it all of a sudden crappy chances to hit? This guy hasn't done anything. Well, just keep shooting him. Nothing. Yeah, I don't understand why all of a sudden we lot we our chances tank there. He didn't do anything. He's just kind of standing there. Maybe he's got like a chameleon. Uh, I don't know, we don't have a bubble over this guy. I thought maybe he's got like a some kind of ECM or something that's making it harder to hit him. Maybe. Yeah, we're not going to kill him. There's no way. Not unless we get excruciatingly lucky and we've got no movement on this. Okay, can we get to where he can't see us? I mean, we could push him. What's our heat like? Not bad. I mean, obviously we can't fire everything. Oh man, okay. Confirm. Maybe we can get him to move. Maybe we can get him to move. Come on, shoot the other guy. Spider's probably got a flame a couple of flamers in the CT. So it's kind of worthless worthless shooting at. That was the Myrmidon. Just thinking components now. I mean, we could technically take the Irby parts. We should have enough Irby parts now to put together another Urban Mech. And maybe we get one with better hard points. I mean, if we could get... If we could get an Urban Mech with a ballistic hard point, we could use the mortar on it. Which might make a good, a nice effective mech for uh, attacking bases. Even for defending a base like this, just sitting back and using the mortar on the enemy. I mean, let's face it, we've got, like, ridiculous amount of defenders here that we don't have, like, don't have to worry about it so ba so much. <sighs> Come on. All right, last turn. Look at the evasion, though. What, we got like two, four, six, eight, eight chevrons, man. Eight chevrons. All right, let's fire on this guy. I hope we get lucky. Nope. We're not going to have enough to kill this guy. I think he's 35 tons. None of these guys have gone internal yet either. Like even the spider is still pretty tough. I'm watching for red and we're not getting any on any of these guys, so... Yeah, you back, you back the F up, man. BTFU, man. BTFU. I've got your back. Do ya? Thirteen percent. Yeah, this guy's still pretty fresh here. Twenty-two on the venom. Like this guy's like still fresh, but maybe we get lucky. I don't know. Got the ammo, might as well use it. Ordered. Same thing. 
Yeah, I'd fire him. I mean, I guess we could have just used... Just trying to think of a better way to kill that guy. Maybe, I guess, if we had just gone with just... Like, I would have had to close the dervish. Just gone with... Um, incendiary animal, ammo against the venom. Hoping to shut it down. And then try for a headshot or something, but I don't know. I still think we wouldn't have had enough turns for it. It would have taken a, quite a while to overheat that guy. But, uh, whatever. There's no way we're doing uh, called shots either. Awaiting orders. Look at the, the heat from movement, man. Okay, I learned my lesson. Lifting up. Call me a chicken, but the last thing I want to do is move in and take a take catastrophic damage in the last turn. Just move back. There's no point. We, we can't not we're not going to secure a kill here, so no point putting us in harm's way. Disappointed we didn't get more kills off this, but I'm not surprised. We we're able to hold them off though. All right, contract payment increased by 75%. That's nice. That is nice. Nice to get a nice good chunk of sea bills in relatively early in the campaign. Gives us some freedom to build some mechs. So let's take this part because I know we can put that together. ER medium lays. Ooh, heavy rocket launchers. Damage 12. One shot though. It's not like we have the free... Uh, Hard points. Ooh, tag. I've been I've been mentioned cursed for not taking tags, but you know the person's right. I I punch again. Names are not my strong point. I apologize for who it was that said it, but I should be taking tags. See that time not not missing taking the tag. The ECM we need. Um, anything that we can get to reduce weight. Does anybody have? No, we don't. All right, we don't need any of that stuff. We don't need any of this stuff. I mean, I should, buy, I should take a heat sink, as crazy as it sounds, but... Because I, I have to buy them every once in a while. They're 123000 to buy a heat sink. It's ridiculous. Uh, let's grab the chameleon part, then. All right, let's go this route. We pretty much got everything else that we want, that we ever use, I think, out of that. SRM4 is a backup, a couple of cores. Those we can sell. Actually, let's just go through it and do it right now. Because we can. Oh, yeah! So we don't need that. We've got a ton of these, so we can go ahead and get rid of these. I want the heat sink. We've got how many of these? Six of them. Get rid of those. The IC engines can go. We've already got a 140 core, don't we? Well, we don't need it. We don't need the 70 core either. Um, SRM4 I'm going to hang on to, but I'm going to get rid of the small lasers because there's no way we're going to use them. Periphery rifle, we, well, it's one ton. Uses potato rifle ammo, eh? Is that technically what this is? I'm assuming. Anyway. We'll hang on to it just in case. But there's that. Alright, a couple of thousand for repairs. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make some repairs and some updates to the mech. Now we do have, if we're just going to quickly go ahead here in the mech bay to see what kind of stuff we've got available if I go to storage real quick here. Now we do have... Oh yeah, we got one of these parts by the way. Uh, we can put this guy together. One ballistic and one... This is basically your standard urban mech. RHW. Oh, this is the one with the shoulder mount mounted howitzer. Let's go ahead and put this guy together. Uh... Yeah, let's confirm that. that mech you wanted is back online. Check that out in a second. Come on. 
All right, so uh, components here. So equipment, we've got that. We can put in something. The ECM, I got to figure out how much does that weigh? One ton. That's not bad. Put that in something. I don't know. Maybe the Dervish. Maybe. Got a fire control system flamer that we're really not going to get much use out of. Now weapons. We got the tag barrage and a regular tag. So we got to figure out where those are going to go. But at this point, it's still pulling off components to add stuff. So I got to figure out where the weight's going to come from. All right, let's see what we got here. Nothing. But we can go ahead. Uh, it'll take the mortar. Plus, we'll have a ton of space left over to put something big in this arm. Needs, an, needs a fusion core, though. So, I mean, we could go ahead and drop something a little bigger. And we're going to need to buy heat sinks again because we've got one. Like a 175 or a 180 is not bad. What's the difference in weight? Nine tons. Nine, it's all nine tons. Don't have enough weight for ammo. Although we don't. Uh, need to add any more heat sinks because we got just three. I mean, if we go with the, well, I should have kept that 140 core. I sold that already. This way, we'll need to buy two heat sinks because we've already got one. But that leaves us enough left over for dropping a laser weapon in, or like we've got this guy. LBX 20 is 12 tons though. Like. Well, it could be done. I'll have to think about it. We have to drop that in there. Um, I mean, we could run with that. LBX-20. And then... Um, drop the cord that we got. I mean, cause we, got, we have to add ammo, right? It would be down to 60 again, probably. Yeah. Now we got LBX cluster ammo which we probably want to use at this level. Wait, that's three shots. That's five shots for cluster. I thought we, oh, that's the AC-20 precision. I mean, we could go with a straight up AC-20. Do we have an AC-20? I don't think so. We do. 14 tons though. Well, maybe not. LBX is probably better. How many rounds? It keeps. I keep reading three. It's 10. Yeah. I don't know. It would, I think that would, would be all we would run with. I don't think we've got a small laser, do we? Got a Magna. We do have a small laser we could arm on it, but honestly, really? Fire control system recoil is still there. This is a four recoil. It would be a one recoil with this. Well, I don't know. Let me think about it. I don't know if I want to waste the 269,000 right now. Let me think about it between episodes. We might get it running. Be nice to get an LB LBX 20 Irby going, but it's really slow. So the, once again, this would be like a base defense Irby. It's not very fast, right? Yeah, I got to think about it. Not sure if it's worth it. All right, I'm going to end this episode here. Now, uh, are we going to go past the financial report? I don't think so. Now, we still got some time. Um, yeah, so we got a bit of time before we get to the financial report. So the missions won't res respawn. So we'll go ahead and take another... Um, I don't know what kind of maybe we'll take the, the two skull mission the capture base mission for the pirates at next episode and see how that goes but uh, for now I'm going to end this episode here I hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later